Beetroots would have to be one of my favourite crops in the garden. They're a cinch to grow, they're versatile in the kitchen, and as the weather cools off, they become even sweeter. You can use them in all kinds of recipes. I want to use these beetroots for a nice, hearty soup. A soup like this has its roots in all kinds of European cultures, and it's because it's nourishing and very, very simple to throw together. So in addition to three beetroots, you need two brown onions, three potatoes, half a head of cabbage, some lovely fresh dill, a head of garlic, and some really high quality beef stock. Now a soup is only as good as the stock that you put in it. So at a stretch, if you have to, you can use some store-bought stuff, but please take the effort to make your own stock. If you want my recipe for beef stock, head to the Gardening Australia website, you'll find it there. But this soup's not gonna cook itself, and I've got a fair bit of chopping up to do here, so I'd better get stuck in. First up, dice the onion. Whew. These onions are extra juicy. Whew. No matter how many times I dice an onion, I still get a bit emotional. Whew. Next up, knock the skin off your spuds and cut them up into bite-sized cubes. For this recipe, I'm going to use six cloves of garlic, and that might seem like a lot, but I want this soup to be pungent and hearty. Now it's time for the star of the show, the beets. Peel them up, cut two into a dice, and I'm going to cut one into matchsticks. The dice part will go in first and be nice and soft, and I'll put the matchsticks in right towards the end to add a little bit more texture. The stems and the leaves from the beetroot often end up in the chook bucket, but there's absolutely nothing stopping you from cooking with it. Because remember that beetroot are related to silver beet. So if you want to use the leaves from the beetroot, just treat it as you would silver beet. So I finally chop the stems and I'll fry them off with the onion and the leaves I'll shred and I'll put in right at the end to wilt. Time to get cooking. So I've got a nice heavy base saucepan, heating it over a medium heat, good splash of olive oil, then we're going in with the onions. I love that by putting the beetroot stems in with the onion, it's giving the onions this beautiful pink hue, so they're smelling great and they're looking spectacular. Once the onions turn translucent, which this has, it's time for the garlic. So once your garlic's softened up, it's time to put in the cube beetroot and the potato, and that's what's gonna give the real body to this soup. I know I mentioned it before, but I can't stress it enough that you need a really good homemade stock to make this soup amazing. Sure, you could use a store-bought one and it'd be okay, but who wants to settle for okay? I'll let that soup simmer for about 20 minutes, just enough for the potatoes and the beetroot to soften up. And while that's happening, I'm gonna finally shred this red cabbage, along with the beetroot leaves that I put aside earlier, and that will go in along with these matchsticks with about two minutes left to cook. Before I take it off the heat, a final flourish with some salt, some black pepper, and a couple of tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Quick taste. Oh yeah, now that is a soup. I am so happy with that soup. It smells amazing, it's incredibly vibrant, and the taste is sensational. It's the perfect recipe to use those beets that you've grown in the backyard to beat the cold weather blues. A nice big spoon of sour cream, don't be shy. I'm just gonna pick over some of this dill just to finish it off. Oh, I can't wait to tuck into this hearty beetroot soup because after all that cooking, I'm beat. <laughs> 